Hey guys, I want to show you a couple of stuff I've been working on lately. Now, I know it's been quite a while since the previous episode and a lot has changed since. However, let's start with something a couple of good buddies and I made just last week. It's our entry to the 72 hour Ludum Dare game competition. If you saw the angry German kid video, you're gonna know what this is about right off the bat. Basically, you play a lead hacker trying to foil a kid's desperate attempts at launching his favorite game. As you can see, we went for a 9-ish pixel artsy style. Uh, my friend who did all the graphics work on this project wanted to give it a more 3D look, but after a few tests we opted for a more 2D retro feel. Now, as you can see, our goal here is basically to solve minigames, and when we solve these minigames, we hack his computer. As you can see, there's an anger bar right uh, on the bottom of the webcam, and our goal is pretty much to anger him so that he quits, so that he just gives up, throws his computer to the ground and just leaves. And so we do that by playing these minigames. Now each minigame has its own kind of little glitch that it activates on his computer. So one minigame pops a, a pop-up like, you know, like we see here. Uh, another one causes a glitch in his screen. And the third glitch basically just blue screens his computer and he has to restart. Basically the minigames get progressively harder, so the more you play them, the harder they get. So, as the game currently stands, it's not too difficult to finish the game on all three minigames. However, if you play only two, and especially one, which I think is impossible, and we did some playtests and we saw with one minigame you basically have to be supremely great at playing it to win. Um, as you just saw here, he basically blocked us uh, because we failed at a minigame. And the, the real fun in the game is just watching his animation, watching how pissed off he gets at, at our actions, basically. And as you can see on his screen, basically what he's trying to do constantly is just go to his games folder and launch the game, which is in this case Unreal Tournament, which if you watch the original video, it's actually the game that he's trying to play. Now, right, we're pretty close to beating him, so just one mini game left and we're gonna see the ending of the game. And there's our end screen. Um, so basically, if you guys are interested in playing this, the download link is in the description. And feel free to play it and rate it if you like it, and that'll be great. As you just saw, it's a pretty wacky parody game, and I really have no idea how we came up with this. Uh, initially, we thought about making a GTA 1 style game, or perhaps a spaceship shooter. Uh, thankfully, we chose the crazier idea. Ludum Dare isn't the only game competition I had the joy to take part in over the last two weeks. I also entered a fairly recent game competition called 7 Day FPS where, as the name suggests, you gotta create a first person shooter in a span of 7 days. The story behind my entry is pretty straightforward. You're basically dropped off at an abandoned house and have to, through quest-like elements, figure out what's going on. Since I only had about a week to do everything, I decided on a concept that didn't really need gameplay testing. So pretty much from the start I knew what I wanted and was able to focus on building the environment. Once I got the design of the house nailed down, I could focus on building props to flesh out the place. After I was satisfied with the graphics side, I had a couple of days to code the gameplay. I figured I'd do a couple of enemy encounters and a few quests. I'll definitely elaborate more on the process when I release an episode about this game in a couple of weeks. So if it's of interest to you, check back in a few. Now, I want to let you in on why there hasn't been a serious episode since the first. It's really because of two things. The first is obvious, and the other is this. 
It's an iOS Android game a graphics buddy and I have been developing for the better part of these 8 months. In keeping with the mobile tradition of storytelling, the premise is very simple. You need to help this little alien find his long lost cosmic girlfriend. Through the game you'll travel to many planets, encounter various interesting characters, fight enduring boss battles and eventually upgrade his ship so as to make him the ultimate alien badass. Since the game is a mishmash of a bunch of ideas, we still have a good couple months before it's released. Stay tuned though for the next episode about my entry to the 7 day FPS game competition, which should be coming in a few weeks. Max out. <laughs>